To give us their analysis on what is happening, we're joined in the studio by Lance Lay, Chief Investment Advisor to Ace Capital, and Regina Miani from the Miani Report. Now, these people are charters, and we know how interesting charters are. So this is going to be compelling TV, and it is really, really important that we talk to these people, because your charts have actually shown uh, a lot about what's going on. Now, Lance, you're a charters too, but you do it because you're an investor and you, you run a, mar a, a, a fund. Regina, is, her services are bought by others because she's a, a technical analyst. Uh, what do you think is going on there? Is this a bear market rally or is it the beginning of a bull market? Uh, Peter, it's, we're still clearly in a bear market. Mm -hmm. So if the, the rally that we've had, and we've clearly had a rally now, 21% um, in the US inside of uh, t two weeks and a day, mm -hmm. And that's huge. Huge. Um, so clearly that in itself is a rally. But we're clearly in a bear market. I mean, we only made a lower low of uh, the devil's number, 666, yeah. uh, on the 6th of March, mm. 2006. So it's that a massive turnaround, really, in a short period of time. Huge. So clearly we are in um, a, 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 a fresh low has been made. Mm. Um, and, and now we've got a rebound in f after that fresh low. Um, we're clearly in a bear market. It's very much in grip, in my view. Okay, let's pull your chart up first, Lance. Sure. And that's the S&P 500. I don't know if our guys know which one's which, but let's, it's the black one, guys. Give it a whirl. And, and Lance, you, okay, you're focusing on, uh, and they don't have it. They've actually lost it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The interesting thing about this is the beauty of, of television is we can describe what the, the viewers aren't seeing. If we had this chart, Lance, okay. what would it actually show? It would show that the the low that was made in November of uh, 2008, which was 740, right? Um, there was uh, it was it had bounced up to 944. Mm. Last time I was here, I mentioned that uh, 961 was a crucial level in my in my charts. Yep. Um, there was a rejection of 961 at 944. That was in January, yeah. and I, I emailed you uh, when I thought it was coming off. Kept showing off all the time, get, right. getting it right all the time. <laughs> so, so where do you, from what you're seeing now, as you think this bear, this this rally, which you say is a bear market rally, will be tested again. We'll go down low. And I guess my question to you is this: If we don't go down to those March lows, if we turn around before those March lows, what would you be telling me then? What would you be emailing me then? Well, I've lost money. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I've just dipped my toe in back onto the short side of things, um, or, or rather, so I should say, a um, uh, bit more than a toe. Mm. Um, and that is because we've basically hit one level of resistance already. This is in the US market, and I think we're going to follow the US market still. Um, going up 21% in two weeks is huge. Um, if you could buy into that after it's already risen 21%, I mean, wouldn't you wait for it to come back a little bit at some point? Um, if this was the bear market, sorry, if this was a bottom, you know, it needs to form the bottom. And in forming that bottom, it needs to go somewhere near 666 again, um, maybe go to 700 only, mm. and, 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 and come off 15% from where we are. Has the bear market run long enough according to what you expect no, of the bear market? No, no way. And Virginia, you're the same. You've, you've got a view on the it bear market. It is as well. a lot faster, but it has fallen significantly and whether that can equalise out, mm. that's why I, I believe the jury's still out on okay. this. Okay, so from your point of view, Lance, you're taking a position on the belief that this bear market rally will be tested and, you, and do you suspect we'll go through through 666? If you're, if you're forced to bet, and you already <laughs> have, I guess, do you think we'll go through 666? Well, I haven't bet that it'd go through 666, yeah. um, but uh, surprisingly, I do have a lower target that is formed, um, and that's uh, 584. Mm. Um, that uh, target is some way off in terms of us seeing that. Uh, the plan that was announced by the Obama administration only uh, two bank nights, the bank rescue plan, yeah. They're not going to be able to put that together for at least a month. Um, and so whilst they've enunciated the, the broad strokes, we're yet to sort of see, well, is this going to work? Um, so in, in, in between now and when that works is when this market, I think, will get 
nervous Fantastic. again. Fantastic. And then they'll, they'll, they'll have a look down at the 700 again. Mm. Nice. So I guess, guys, let's try and work out what kind of environment that our viewers would be watching on television and reading in newspapers. What would trigger a big testing of this, of this rally, Lance? What, what do you think it would be? Oh. Experts coming out and saying this is never going to work, this bank rescue plan? I suppose there's many experts that have already come out and said that. Mm. Um, yeah, but some like like Bill Gross of PIMCO said, you know, I'll participate in this. Robert Schiller, the housing uh, expert from Harvard, he said the plan looks good. So there's, it's 50-50, isn't it? Yeah. There's, there's well-known people saying yes. I think uh, 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 the guy from Templeton Asset Ma uh, Management, uh, Mark Mobius, he's come out and said this is going to be a bull market. So it's a real 50-50 situation now, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't make a market. <laughs> <laughs> Good, what did you say? It doesn't make a market. Yeah. No, well, but, but it, no, it does make a market when you've got 50 50 yeah, people yeah. on both sides, yeah. but buyers and sellers saying it. Yeah, good point. I'm a little bit more cautious, I think, um, Peter. Mm. Um, I think that um, uh, prior to our, d the, the, the last time I was on the show, um, I had a, a, a level of uh, 671. Mm. We, we broke through that, went to 666. The formation that has formed now has enabled me to have a look at and consider 584. Mm. Now, to, for me to be able to consider that is already another step further down. Whether we go there, obviously, is going to take more time. And there'll be some signs, I think, before we actually fall off. Where is the S&P 500 now for people who aren't uh, sure? You're saying 584 could go, but where are we now? We're at 806. Yeah, so we're in a, a, a sort of long gap. It's, it's that's 300 a, points. To, yeah, that's, that's like 20-odd, uh, 30% away. So we, I, I would say, and Regina, correct me if you think I'm wrong, I, I would expect to see a lot worse economic news in the US uh, a, a complete rejection of the bank rescue package to see something like that happen. A surprise that people aren't expecting. Yeah, something from left field, without a doubt. Uh, so, in terms of uh, going forward, Lance, um, when when do you think this market will be tested out? <laughs> when, when is always the hardest question, mm. Peter. Mm. Um, I think that, uh, do you mean test it out on the top side? Yeah, because you said we, we've, we've done this now for two weeks, we've gone yep. up for two weeks. Yep. Do you think they'll, they'll, they'll play in positive territory at least for four weeks and then start testing it then? Um, if the chart was up, mm. that uh, you would actually see we've actually hit one level of resistance already mm. what, on, what in that? the US. Uh, uh, 8.22. Yeah, and um, we're through that now? Well, we, we actually hit 8.22. We closed there on the announcement of the plan. Right. And then yesterday it came back off to 8.06. And so, in a way, it's rejected the first level of 8.22 already. Mm. Um, my next level is 7.78. And then the h level higher than that is the, the old 9.44, mm. which is, pr let's say we get to 9.40. Now, 778 is uh, still some 7% away. Mm. Uh, 944 is still quite a fair bit away. I don't think we'll go all the way to 944, but something below 800, um, between, say, 8% up from here, I see that as um, more probable. And, uh, and in fact, um, at that time, I'd probably sell a little bit more. Okay. Now, Regina, you're a little bit more positive than Lance. Where do you think we'll be in a, in a month's time? Higher than we are now or lower? I think there's a possibility we'll give you higher. Yeah, good stuff. Good. I'm glad you're on the program being positive. <laughs> now, Lance, you brought a, a bell along here. That's well, it. Why did you bring the bell? Well, this is the um, ACE Capital Bell. And um, as you can see, we've, we've it's shown a little bit of wear and tear. It's been through a couple of cycles as we fight over ringing this. Yeah, right. Um, I dusted it off today because I hadn't, hadn't bothered to bring it out yet, but I thought I'd just bring it because we've, we've hit a new low, yeah. and I thought perhaps Regina would like to ring it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's certainly you're an urge, given the fact that you don't think it's the right time to ring. I don't think so, not yet. The, the, I, guess, I, guess the, the, I guess the point is we really need some shock good news to break out of a, of a technical destination where we, we, we seem to be heading, or bad news. And, that's going to determine well, we the need future. a mover, a catalyst. Guys, thanks for joining us on Money Makers. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter.